Are you thinking about relocating or retiring to New Hampshire and wondering where to go? Today we're going to talk about the 10 best places to live in New Hampshire. Every day we get calls from people like you that are looking for information or thinking about moving to New Hampshire. So if you're thinking about it and want some more information, make sure to give us a call. Shoot us an email. Reach us by Carrier Pigeon. However you do it, just reach out. Hi, my name is Kevin Cooper. And I'm Daniela May. And today we're going to talk about the 10 best places to live in New Hampshire. And remember, this information is just comprised of data that's pulled together with best schools, uh, low crime rates. It doesn't necessarily mean that the number one place to live in New Hampshire is going to suit you. Kevin and the rest of our family love Southern New Hampshire because they like to be near the main uh, Massachusetts border. There's lots to do. It's great for them. My preference is the seacoast because I want to be near the main border. I want to be close to the, the seacoast, close to beaches, close to the lakes. So take the time to do some research. Find out if the vibe in the town is what suits you best. So today we're going to talk about the 10 best places to live in New Hampshire to give you an idea so that you can pick through and see what's going to work best for you. And, and your family. So to start off our list, we're going to start at number 10, which is the town of Lebanon. Lebanon is located in Grafton County and there's a population of just over 11,000 people and last year the average home sale price was just over 333,000. Lebanon has a low crime rate and is located near the Vermont border. So if you're looking to do some skiing and you'd like a little nightlife, Lebanon might be the place for you. So it's right up where 89 meets 91, literally, you cross over the bridge, you're in Vermont. So next on the list is number nine, that's Brookline, New Hampshire. Now Brookline, New Hampshire is in the county of Hillsborough, only has just over 5,000 people, so it is a small town feel. The average home price last year was $526,000. If you're looking for nightlife, Brookline is probably not the place for you. Even though it gives you a nice small town feel, though it is close to Nashua and Milford if you're looking for some fun things to do. And next, at number eight, is the town of Wyndham, New Hampshire. Now, Wyndham is located in Rockingham County, has a population of just over 14,000 people, and the average home sale price last year was just under $667,000. Wyndham's a short ride to both the Manchester and Boston airports. They have a great school system, and they have that small town feel with lots of coffee shops and parks. If you like to take the kids to the park, you might like Wyndham. Wyndham is a commuter's dream. Next on the list at number seven is Durham, New Hampshire. Durham, New Hampshire is located in Stratford County, has a population of just over 11,000 people, and last year the average home sale price was just over $608,000. It's close to the seacoast and home of the UNH Wildcats. It's also known for one of the best school systems in the area, Oyster River. And if you like hockey, UNH got a great hockey team. They do. Next on the list at number six is Lee, New Hampshire. Lee is also located in Stratford County, has a small population of just over 4,000 people, and the average sale, uh, home sale last year was just over $419,000. Lee is also part of the Oyster River High School school system, so definitely one of the best school systems in the area. Also home to some of our favorite places, Haunted Overload, which if you have kids, they will love, and Flag Hill Winery. Next on the list at number five is Amherst, New Hampshire. Amherst is located in Hillsborough County, has a population of just over 11,000 people, and last year the average home sale price was just over $549,000. Amherst is a rural community with lots of coffee shops and parks, and it's a close commute to both Manchester and Nashua. Next on the list at number four is Madbury, New Hampshire. Now Madbury is located in Stratford County, has a small population of just under 2,000 people, and last year the average home sale price was just over $546,000. Now, if you're looking for diversity, Madbury's probably not the place for you. It's a very small population, also included in one of the best school systems in the area. Number three on the list is Bedford, New Hampshire. Now, Bedford is located in Hillsborough County, has a population of just over 22,000 people, and last year's average home sale price was just over $661,000. Bedford's a nice town to live in with an excellent school system. If you're looking to have a wedding, Bedford is home of the Bedford Village Inn. It's close to the Manchester airport, so if you need to do some commuting, it's easy highway access. 
Number two on the list is Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Now Portsmouth is located in Rockingham County, has a population of just over 21,000 people, and last year the average home sale price was just over $716,000. Yes, Portsmouth is densely populated. It's a very popular place to live. The downtown area has a lot to do. It's home of Strawberry Bank. Um, there's lots of shops and restaurants. It's a great place for young professionals and for retirees. And Portsmouth is right on the main border. So you're right across the water from, say, the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard, which is located in, in Maine. And you're right on that 95 corridor. So easy access north or south if you need to get to Boston. And to top off our list at number one is Hanover, New Hampshire. Now Hanover is lo located in Grafton County, has a population of just over 11,000 people. And last year, the average home sale price was $848,000. Hanover also has some of the best schools in the area and is home to Dartmouth College. Hanover is close to Lebanon, New Hampshire. So it's in that Northwest portion of New Hampshire. So you're close to Vermont. You're in the New Hampshire side, so you can get to skiing, get to Vermont, get some of that Vermont maple syrup. And as you can see, there's a common theme in all 10 of these um, towns. They all have excellent schools. So if you're looking to move here with a family, any one of these would be a perfect place to live. We hope you found this list of 10 best places to live in New Hampshire helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Give us a call, shoot us an email. Reach out by carrier pigeon, send your dog with a note on it. However it is, contact us. Our information will be below. We love to help. My name is Kevin Cooper. And I'm Daniela May. Enjoy the rest of your day.